We're talking with Oliver Slope right now. He's with Blue Line Futures in Chicago. Well, we have big gains going on in the grain markets today, Oliver, but maybe not so much in the cattle market. Let's take a look. Let's go to live cattle here, and uh, we'll, we'll uh, see what's going on. If I can get the right screen pulled up here for you. Here we go. It's coming up now. On the live cattle trade, we currently have the February 77 cents higher at 137.35. You know, we languished for a long time this morning, got as low as 135.80, and finally climbed up out of there, and we're off of that by about a buck and a half now. The April contract, 40 cents higher at 141.32. With the higher grain trade, you could imagine that it's going to be kind of difficult for feeders, but you know what? They climbed out of that uh, deep hole this morning too. March now 35 higher at 164.82 after getting as low as 163.20. What does all this mean here, Oliver? Is that pretty bullish in your book? Well, I don't know that it's bullish, but it's certainly a, a lot better end of the day than it was the start of the day, at least for now, knock on wood. Uh, we tested some big support levels for that February live cattle contract, 136 to about 136.50. It's a 100-day moving average as well as the gap from November 18th. We tested that, filled that, and now getting a little bit of a springboard higher. Hopefully, we can get some follow-through momentum into the end of the week. That would be a little bit more encouraging. But if you kind of zoom out over the last two weeks or so, since we marked those contract highs, the price action has been overall disappointing in the live cattle market, especially during a time of year which we start to see a little bit more seasonal strength. There's a seasonal for April live cattle that goes from December 3rd uh, to about January 3rd uh, that, that has worked well over the last 15 years. And right now we're just kind of uh, uh, fluttering around um, at the moment. Feeders, Still pretty optimistic. We tested and held some support levels as well near that 163 area. Uh, we need to, again, get some more follow through momentum into the end of the week uh, to, to feel a little bit more comfortable about being long this market for the longer term. Well, let's take a look at our lean hog trade now. And right now you have the February contract gaining 70 cents. We're at 80.02 per hundred weight. And you have that April contract now 47 cents higher at 84.67 per hundred weight, that would put us roughly about a half dollar off our earlier high of the day. Oliver, thanks for joining us here today. Always good to visit with you. And if you don't mind, I'll call on you for some comments for the evening news tonight as well. So we'll uh, talk to you then. Oliver Slope with Blue Line Futures.